Hello, today we're playing Lock and Chase on the uh, Game Boy. This game is 100% blind. Um, it's made by Data East, which, um, you know, I don't think I had ever heard of Data East until, like, what, Joe and Mac? But, uh, yeah, apparently they've been, they made a bunch of games. Um, I think they have, don't they have the, um, that, like, it was like a PlayStation 2, uh, like, Data East collection where it had a bunch of old Data East games. Also, uh, yeah, I've never played this before. I did have to play for just a little while just to make sure that, like, the controls worked and there was no sound at first. So I did have to do some, uh, troubleshooting. But, uh, I never played for more than, like, five seconds. I knew that that guy came after me. So, um, oh, I skipped the, the uh, the cutscene. It shows you going into, like, a building, right? So, uh, I'm guessing these are, like, uh, these are, like, cops. Okay, so why do the... Oh, well, I thought they were crying. I thought I could t I thought I could touch them when they were crying. But, uh, yeah, this is the first uh, game I've played on the Game Boy emulator, so I just had to do a little bit of troubleshooting, make sure everything works okay. There was no sound, so I had to, like, go and, like, check a box or uncheck a thing or change a, a thing. I, I did it several days ago, so actually I don't remember. But I had to, like, change a setting. And then also, for some reason, there's this weird thing where... Uh, like, when I hit the start button, it would, uh, the emulator would just close. I'm just like, why? And then I checked, and, uh, yeah, it turned out Steam has to be closed. Uh, on the Super Nintendo emulator, when Steam is open, or, like, you you click on Steam to, like, check your wish list or to buy something, you know? And then if you hit the X, even though it goes away, it's still technically open. You have to, like, go into, like, the corner and, like, exit it or whatever. Even though I thought hitting the X means close, but apparently, what do I know, right? Mr. Technologically Illiterate. But yeah, all this time, I thought, yeah. But apparently, you have to go into the corner and then, uh, click the icon. I put it in the, what do you call it? That little bar where all the icons are. Where you could, like, change settings and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I had to turn that off to make the start button not, um, close the, uh, the emulator. Yeah, I have no idea why it would do that. Or why on the Super Nintendo it speeds it up. Okay, so why do they get sad when I steal the money? Shouldn't they be, like, trying to come after me, like, more? Oh, it stuns them. Okay, so I have to grab the jewel to be able to, like, kick them away or whatever. Okay, so how come there's the, uh... There's, like, the two big ones and, like, the little one? Do they behave differently? There's a guy with sunglasses. Is he, like, extra, like, aggressive? He's like, he, like, he extra means business. Is there one that, like, actually always pursues me? Because they, they seem to, like, generally come towards me. But they're not, like, actively pursuing me all the time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm using, uh, what do you call it? Visual Boy Advance or whatever. And, uh, yeah, you can play, uh... GBA games on it, two Game Boy Advance games, so that's kind of cute. And also, this is, even though this is just, um, regular Game Boy, the, it defaulted at, um, at this, like, green, uh, like, like, Super Game Boy kind of palette. Okay, so are we gonna go to a bigger bank now? We robbed all of the small bank, now is it gonna, now we get a, to rob a bonus bank? Huh. You know what? There, there was a game on the Game Boy, or Game Gear, rather, that was rated, um, like, MA-13. Because it had, uh, it was like a casino game, and you're, like, pretend gambling, so they had to rate it MA-13. or MA -13. I guess this was made before that system came out. Would this be considered, like, simulated gambling? Okay, is there, like, some kind of trick to this, I wonder? So why am I spending diamonds? You would think that, like, if you went through all the trouble to, like, rob a bank. If you, like, stole diamonds, you would think you'd want to keep the diamonds and not just gamble them away. <laughs> I got six up. Uh, okay. Is that, like, super hard to get, I wonder? Oh, you don't even have to get a match to still get a one-up. Oh, nothing for that one. All right. Is the, uh... Uh-oh. You don't lose lives if you match the, the Popo guys, do you? Okay. 
Okay, so we're just this dude in this hat. We're just uh, we're just a bank robin. We're just a bank robin hat wearing mofo. He kind of looks like uh, like he kind of looks like Kirby, but with like giant shoes. Why is this guy trapped? All right, yaddy. I don't know how long this game is, so I don't know how long I'll play, but uh, we'll go for a while. What is that thing in the right, uh, the bottom right corner? We have one ice cream cone. Oh wait, is that a diamond? Shouldn't it all be one color though? It makes it look like ice cream when it's when it's colored like that, or like when it looks like that. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so I got one, and now it says I have two. Oh man, I can just get the guy right as he respawns. Oh geez, I I flew too close to the sun. I went to the well one time too many. Oh geez. You know, it's hard to listen to music when you're playing and talking. But as far as Game Boy game goes, or Game Boy games go, this music is actually pretty good. Like I get a feel like I get the feeling that sometimes when they're making music they're just like, oh like it's such a shitty sound chip that they just like don't even try. They're just like, well, it just sounds like crap, so let's just have it sound poopy, you know. I don't know. It seemed like the uh the people that made the music were like legitimately set out to like do the best they could with the uh with the sound chip set or whatever. Uh rut row. Oh man, Gaddy. Okay, yeah. So those long, uh, those long hallways are like dangerous. Can I beat this. Oh man, and it makes you stop. No. Okay, the other guy, like, changed direction, went back around. So what kind of bank is this? They just like left all the gold coins on the ground. You know, I never realized how valuable, like, gold was until I was, like, an adult. Like, I knew it was, like, I knew it was valuable, but, like, I didn't realize, like, how much so, you know? I don't know. I guess it just, like, never occurred to me that, like, a regular person could buy it. You know, I watch, you know, I watch DuckTales, so I always associate uh, owning gold with being, like, a bajillionaire, you know? I thought only rich people, like, have gold. It's like, no, you can actually buy, like, small amounts. I don't know. It is pretty expensive. You can get like a tenth. Oh shit. I thought I could turn around, but I guess like you have to. Hmm. Yeah, you have to like take like a. You have to step for like a full tile before you can like change directions. But you can get like a like a tenth of an ounce. It's such a it's such a small amount. It's like it's like the the weight of like a freaking like paperclip. Okay, I think I could have handled that better, but I was just impatient. I just wanted to like I was like maybe if I just walk towards it, it'll like something will work out. You know, this level kind of makes it seem like we're in like a pinball machine, doesn't it? Oh man, there's four guys now. How many, um, like, what's the max number of dudes that we're gonna get? It's probably the maximum that the Game Boy could handle. I couldn't imagine there be mo being more than, like, six. I mean, like, how hard could this game possibly be, right? I mean, like, how hard could it get, I meant. Okay, I got, I got less diamonds. Do you get, like, more diamonds if you stay in the stages longer? Do they, like, is it better to leave like one dot or one like are those supposed to be coins that we're collecting i'm assuming it's not just like dots right hey noise oh i just got more chances oh no what could the money possibly give us does it like give you like points which then if you get enough you get a life so it's like a partial life Is there one of these that's like the equivalent of like the cherry? 
Oh, I think there is. If the left one is uh is homeboy, I think that's like a cherry in Mario 2. Where it like where like no matter what you get after that, as long as you get that first one to be a dude, then you get at least one one up. Does our guy not like not have a name? What does that do? It shrunk him? I don't want to go near him. I know as soon as I get close to him. He's just crying forever? Okay. Oh, I can't even hurt him anymore. I don't know. I kind of don't want to wait around to see if another diamond will spawn. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we good. Oh, we're not good. Ah, oh, I hit the down button too late. Just like a just like a little bit too late. But uh, yeah, is this supposed to um is this supposed to like represent money that we're collecting? There's just like money chilling on the ground. You would think a bank would not uh, leave all their money. On the ground. Oh, I got greedy. I wanted the thing. I should have just walked around. Jeepers. Oh, man. I think part of the problem is that I have too many lives. So I'm just like, oh, I don't have to be super careful. I've got lots of lives until you don't. Oh, geez. I forgot that those guys can pass through those blocks. Okay, well, with those two guys incapacitated or whatever have those two guys. Other than those two guys, we got free reign to just go around and collect all the jams. Oh, the question block uh, didn't do anything when I was uh, in the... when I was invincible or whatever. F him up. Keep effing him up. F him up. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Shoot. Oh, yikes. Oh, I wonder how many uh, stages there are. We'll do one more, then we'll call it an episode. I don't know how long this will take, but we're cruising through. So as long as there's not like five trillion stages. Oh, I also need to learn how to save state. Yeah, if I if I get a, <laughs> if I get like a hard game over, like a fuck you, go back to the first level game over. Yeah, I'm not starting over. <laughs> Oh man, this means that now I have to learn another console's uh, save state button. Like the NES save state. Like using it's, like using save states on the NES emulator versus the Super Nintendo one versus the Genesis one. They're all three are different. So you have to like remember to press like different buttons on each console. No! Oh, so I have to learn what this one is, and then also, like, remember to always hit that one and not the ones for the other other uh, consoles. You know, I hit the load button instead of save a couple times when I was playing um, Super Metroid Z Factor. But other, I'm trying to think, other than that, I've actually been pretty, like, good about not... Oh my gosh. About not, um, losing progress from from, uh, like, messing up with the save states or whatever. Oh, my God. I wasn't even, like, paying attention. Like, I just glanced down at my, uh, at my timer for, like, just a second. But, uh, I thought that the, um, the effect or whatever that happens, like, lasted longer. So I thought I had, like, a split more second. Like, it, like, a split second more than I actually did. Okay, either way, we out. Oh, nice. But, uh, so... We're not gonna get to use that, are we? That'd be cute. Alright. Come on, Big Daddy needs some, uh, some lives. It'd be nice. I want more chances to win. 
Hey, noise. Oh, you gotta, man. So you gotta get three monies just for one, one up? Golly. It's a lot easier to just try to get the one. Aw, oh, what's up at this level? Oh, you can just, oh no. You can go through some of the walls? No, but I gotta figure out which ones. It's gonna make me walk past this sleeping dude. There's a shot in the dark. In the dark. I was like, maybe it, it, maybe I can do that wraparound thing. Oh, you just don't want to touch the clock because that's going to wake him up, I suppose, right? I'm guessing this is just like the introduction teaching you level. Oh, I didn't know that the things disappear. Huh. Why did the, uh, why did the clock hand start moving when I touched it? It was kind of weird. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I lived with this, uh, with this couple once. By the way, don't ever, don't ever live with a couple. Don't, don't ever be, like, the third wheel. But, uh, anyway, at one point in my early 20s, uh, I was living with this, uh, this couple. Like, I don't know, I didn't really see him that much, but the, the dude was a security guard. And, um... And he was just like at one point telling me about the job and how it paid like it paid like eight fifty, which was like way more than what I was making at the time at Taco Bell. And he was telling me he was like, oh yeah, we bring in like PlayStations and we just like we just like hook them up when we play PlayStation like all night. I was like, they let you do that? They're like, yeah, actually they want you to do that. They want basically a cut like a couple of times a night you have to. Uh... Okay, nothing it happens when you walk on it again. Um... Basically, they said that all they want you to do is a couple times a night you have to do your rounds where you basically just, like, walk around or whatever. But they said other than that, like, they just want you to be there and to be awake. So they, like, they literally didn't even care what you did. As long as they just didn't want you sleeping was, like, the one thing that, like, you weren't allowed to do. They'd sit there and they'd fucking, uh, uh, get paid to freaking play video games. Oh my god. Okay, well, I feel like that guy was, like, going pretty fast. Okay, so I can't go into this room without waking that dude up. Should I, like, try to lure him to the corner? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, no! Well, you think that guy would, like, move slower, considering he was asleep, like, one second ago. He just, like, pops right up and is immediately, at, like, coming at you at full speed. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're basically just there to just, like, create a presence. You're just a deterrent. Like, you're not supposed to actually, like, stop the... If someone breaks in or whatever, you're not supposed to, like, actually stop them. Huh. Is this a secret? Uh, well, I I was going all the ways that I didn't think it would let me go down into it like that. God damn. Oh, I know what it wants you to do. If you're clever, you can go all the way all the way around. And you can get in that room without waking the dude up. Yeah. Luckily, he doesn't mind me stepping on his hat. Oh, look at that. Sneaky. All right. Nice. But uh, yeah, they don't want you to actually, um, they don't actually want you to, like, make any effort to, like, stop the dude. It's like, you're damn right for 850. I ain't about to play the fucking hero and, and get dead, you know, so. Okay, so we just want to not touch the alarm clock. I have a feeling I'm going to immediately be put in a situation where I have to choose to either touch it or die. Look at that, see, didn't even get the sentence all the way out. Okay, the good news is that, for the most part, other than these little hallways here... My god, no! Oh, yay. That, uh, for the most part, there's at least enough space where we can, like, run away and whatnot. No, I think I like the music in the other... 
to the other level more. No, don't do this to me. Oh man, I still have another life. Where did I get? Did I get a life because I got 30,000 points? Is that what happened? I thought I was out of uh, lives. I wanted that diamond. Now it's going to disappear before I, yeah. You just walk on top of the cops when they're sleeping. I kind of don't want to test it since I'm on my last life. No. What do the other buttons do? Oh, I can... I can hit the button and make a sound. I did put a thing down one time. I'm guessing, is that like a, supposed to be like a tripwire or something? Oh, it disappeared. Oh, I just... How do I, uh, does it just disappear after a few seconds? Oh, I think I can only put them at, at the, um, at the, sm at the, uh, the little white squares. I have to put them in between two of those. Oh, and it blocks them. All right, that's cute. Okay, well, that would have been nice to know, like, 17 lives ago. Oh, this guy right here. Ah, oh, come on, no! Oh, man, they're after me, man. They want to munch on my booty. I never understood the whole eating ass thing. Then again, I'm into all kinds of stuff that other people don't understand, so I guess I can't talk. I don't know, does anybody watching, do y'all ever eat ass? Do you ever, like, do you try it once? I feel like if you're, you have to like it enough to even be willing to, like, consider it, you know? If you're willing to consider doing, like, if you're willing to, like, do it once, that means that on some level you wanted to. Well, fuck me, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Wow. Continue? Oh, thank God. Okay, and we're here. Okay, so we do have a, we do have continues. Uh, I'm not sure how many we have, possibly infinite. Uh, that'd be nice, huh? Okay, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, in the next one, we'll take on uh, stage 5-1 and try to survive for more than five seconds. I'm not sure how many stages there are. I mean, it's really cramped in the in the bottom right corner, so I'm guessing not more than nine, because if they added ten, like, there's not enough uh, space to add to put the ten, unless the word stage got shifted one over to the left. So I'm guessing there's not more than nine, um, uh, nine like, um, well, I don't want to say stages, because 5-2 uh, is going to be also a stage, but you know what I mean, like worlds or whatever. Um, okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, like the video. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.